Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're on to the AI 900 cheat sheet, and this one is seven pages long, so let's get to it. At the top of our list, we're starting with artificial intelligence, a machine that can perform jobs that mimic human behavior, machine learning, a machine that gets better at a task without explicit programming, deep learning, a machine that has artificial neural nets uh, inspired by the human brain to solve complex problems, a data scientist is a person with multidisciplinary skills in math, statistics, predictive modeling, machine learning to make future predictions, data set is a logical grouping of units of data that are closely related or share the same data structure, Examples of this would be MNIST and COCO. Data labeling, the process of identifying raw data, so images, text files, videos, and adding one or more meaningful and informative labels to provide context so a machine learning model can learn. Supervised learning, data that has been labeled for training. Sup unsupervised learning, data that has not been labeled, and the ML model needs to do its own labeling. Reinforcement learning, so there is no data and there is an environment and an ML model generates data with many attempts to reach a goal. You have neural networks, also abbreviated to NN, a network of nodes organized into layers, so input, hidden, output that is used to train ML models. We have deep neural nets, so DNN, a neural net that has three or more hidden layers, consider deep learning. Backpropagation, moves backwards through a neural net, adjusting weights to improve outcome on the iteration. This is how a neural net learns. Loss function, a function that compares the ground truth to the prediction to determine the error rate, how bad the network performed. Activation functions, an algorithm applied to a hidden layer node that affects connected outputs. So RELU is a very common one. You have a dense layer. This is when the next layer increases the amount of nodes. You have a sparse layer. This is when the next uh, layer decreases the amount of nodes. You have GPUs that is specially designed to quickly uh, render high resolution images and videos concurrently. Commonly used for non-graphical tasks such as machine learning and scientific computing. You have uh, CUDA, which is a, a parallel computing platform, an API by NVIDIA that allows developers uh, to use CUDA-enabled GPUs for general purpose computing, uh, also known as GPU, uh, GU. On to the second sheet here for ML pipeline, we have pre-processing. I didn't outline this in the course, so I'm going to just do that now. So preparing data and feature engineering before passing data to an ML model for training inference. You might have data cleaning, so this is correcting errors within the data set that could negatively impact the results. Data reduction, reducing the amount of data or applying dimensionality reduction to reduce the dimensions of inputted vectors. Feature engineering, transforming data into numerical vectors uh, to be ingested by the ML model. Sampling or resampling, balancing a data set to uh, be uniform across labels by adding or removing records. Post processing, translating the output of an ML model back into a human readable format. Training the process of training the model. Serving the process of deploying the model to an endpoint to be used for inference. Inference, invoking an ML model by sending a request and expecting back a prediction. We have real time endpoints, so optimized for, optimized for small or single item payloads. Returns results quickly, usually uses a dedicated running server. Batch transform, optimized for larger batch predictions. Server runs only uh, for the duration of the batch. There's forecasting, make a prediction uh, with relevant data, analysts of trends, and it's not guessing. Predicting, make a future prediction with, without relevant data using statistics to pr uh, predict future outcomes, more of guessing using decision theory. For performance and evaluation metrics are used to evaluate different machine learning algorithms. Just to uh, out, uh, select a few here, classification, we have accuracy, F1 score, precision and recall. For regression metrics, we have MSC, RMSC, MAE, remember mean squared uh, errors, okay? Jupyter Notebooks, a web-based application for authoring documents to combine live code, narrative text, equations, uh, visualizations. Classification is the process of finding a function to divide a label data set uh, into classes and categories. A confusion matrix is a table to visualize the uh, model prediction, so predicted versus ground truth actual. Take the time to go look up how confusion matrix work because they will absolutely ask you questions on the exam for the AI 900, okay? Regression is the process of finding a function to correlate a labeled data set into continuous variable numbers. Clustering is the process of grouping unlabeled data based on similarity and differences. Okay, onto our third sheet here. Cognitive Services, an umbrella AI service that enables customers to access multiple AI services with an API keen endpoint. We have the category of decision, so anomaly detector, identify pro uh, potential problems early on. Content moderator, detect potential offensive or unwarranted content. Personalizer, create a uh, rich personalized experience for everyone. Uh, language understanding, so build natural language understanding into the app spots and IoT devices. Q&A maker, create a conversational question and answer layer over the data. 
text and analytics, detect sentiment, key phrases, and ed named entries, translator, detect, translate, and more than 90 supported languages. For speech, we have speech to text, transcribe audible speech into readable text, text to speech, convert text to lifelike speeches for more natural interfaces, speech translation, integrate real-time speech translation to your apps, speak recognition, identify, verify the people uh, speaking based on the audio. For vision, we have computer vision, so analyze content and images and videos. Custom vision, customize image recognition to uh, fit your business needs. Face, detect, the, uh, detect and identify people and emotions in images. Knowledge mining is a discipline in AI that uses a combination of intelligent services to quickly learn from vast amounts of information. And there's three things to this. There's ingest, so content from a range of sources using connectors to, uh, to first and, and third party data stores. Enrich the content with the AI capabilities that let you extract information, find patterns, deep understanding, explore the newly indexed data via search boxes uh, existing business applications and data visualizations. Onto our fourth sheet, we have Microsoft AI principles. So this is responsible AI. Remember there's six. So fairness, an AI system should treat all people fairly. Reliability and safety, AI systems should re perform reliability and safety. Pr privacy and security, AI systems should be secure and pr uh, respect privacy. Inclusiveness, AI systems should empower everyone, engage people. Transparency, AI systems should be understandable. Accountability, people should be accountable for the AI systems. Common ML workloads. So for this, we have anomaly detection uh, is the process of finding outliers uh, with a data set called anomaly. Computer vision is when we use M uh, ML neural nets to gain high uh, level understanding of digital images and videos. NLP is the uh, is the machine learning that can understand the context of co a corpus or body of text. Conversational AI is technology that can participate in conversations with humans. I know it feels like we're repeating the same thing kind in different ways, but that's the way we're gonna learn well here, okay? Azure Machine Learning Service allows you to provision an ML studio to build and maintain ML models and pipelines. We have author, so under that we have notebooks, a Jupyter Notebooks and IDE to write Python code to build ML models. Remember, you can launch it in Jupyter Labs and VS Code as well. Probably won't show up an exam, but just so you know, AutoML, completely automated process to build and train an ML model. Uh, designer, visual drag and drop designer, construct and ML pipelines. We have data sets, so data that you can upload, which will be used for training. Data can be versioned. Open data sets are publicly hosted data sets that are commonly used for learning how to build ML models. Experiments are uh, a logical grouping of runs. Runs are ML tasks that perform on, on virtual machines or containers. Pipelines, so ML uh, workflows you have built or have used in the designer. You have a training pipeline, so pipelines to build and train an ML model. Inference pipelines, pipelines that are used to train, that uh, use a trained model to make a prediction on real data. Then you have models. This is a model registry containing uh, trained models that can be deployed, endpoints. When you deploy a model, it's hosted on accessible endpoints, so REST API, so real-time endpoints invokes an ML model for inference. Pipeline endpoint invokes the running on a pipeline, so for CI, CD. Under manage, we have compute, the underlying computing instances used to, uh, for notebooks uh, training inference. So we have compute instances, development workstations that data scientists use to work with the data and models. This is generally for your notebooks. Computer clusters, scalable clusters for virtual machines on demand processing of experimental code. So training and pre processing. Inference clusters, deployment targets for predictive services that use for trained models. So for inference, attached compute, links to existing Azure compute resources such as uh, virtual machines, Azure Databricks clusters. And there's another one in there, but it's not going to show up in the exam. Probably Apache Spark, but I guess it's covered under Databricks. Um, so for environments, a reproduce, pre reproducible Python environment for machine learning experts or uh, uh, experiments. Data stores uh, securely connect to your uh, storage service on Azure without putting uh, your authentication credentials in. So it has blob storage, file share, data, uh, data lake storage, Gen 2, Azure SQL data. Azure Postgres MySQL database. Data labeling, have humans and ML assisted labeling to label your data for supervised learning, human in the loop labeling, machine learning assisted da data labeling. We have linked services, so external services that uh, you can uh, connect to the workspace such as Azure Synapse Analytics. I think that's the only one you can connect to right now. Then for text analytics, so now we're out of um, the Azure machine learning uh, services and we're in just into cognitive services. So text analytics, sentiment analysis, find out what people think of your brand or topic. Labels include negative, positive, mixed, or neutral. Confidence scores ranging from zero to one. Opinion mining, granular information about the opinions related to aspects. Granular data with a subject and opinion tied to a sentiment. 
Key phrase extraction quickly identifies the main concepts and texts. Language detection detects the language uh, in an input text is written in. Named entity recognition, NER, detects words and phrases mentioned in unstructured text that can be associated with one or more sentiment types. We have uh, Lewis or Luis, language understanding, a no-code ML service to build natural language into apps, bots, and IoT devices. It uses NLU, the ability to transform a linguistic statement to a representative that enables you to understand your users naturally. Lewis, key schema components. So we have intentions, the user, uh, what the user is asking for. So a Lewis app contains a, a non-intent entities, what parts of the entity uh, intent is used to determine the answer, utterances, examples of the user input that includes intent and entities who train the ML model to match predictions against the real user input. For Q&A Maker, generate a bot from a URL, PDF, and uh, it's supposed to be DOCX, for docs, that's a spelling mistake, think of a docx file. Multi-turn conversation, so follow-up prompts to narrow a specific answer. Chit-chat, personalized canned responses. For Azure, bot service allow you to host bots. So you have the bot framework SDK, uh, which is an end-to-end -end SDK to build, test, publish, connect, evaluate bots. That's the entire uh, pipeline that they describe. Bot framework composer, a desktop application to uh, design bots, leverage the bo uh, bot framework SDK. So there you go, that's the whole cheat sheet. Uh, usually I would break it up per service, but there's a lot of intermixing, so that's why I did it this way. But, uh, you know, good luck on your exam, and I hope you pass.